Lauren is getting married to a fucking man. Lauren, your ex? Yes, Amy, Lauren. She's marrying Steve. There's a lot of, um, it's a comedy, but there's a lot of subtle power plays and power dynamics happening in this piece. And there's a really painful line when her therapist goes, people change, right? That, that's kind of a loaded thing to say in this context. I thought she was gonna try to call it right at the wedding. Like the idea was to go there and to find out that there was like hooks and holes and yeah. in, in this whole straight thing. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and there's this, uh, it's almost as though she feels betrayed. Totally. What, what was happening here? What, what, are, what, are, what complex emotional things are going on for, this, for, for Riley? Why does, she, why does she invite her to the wedding at all? It almost seems like a mean thing to do. And there's that comment, oh, I guess she invited so many of her exes. Like, huh. Is that, is that a dream wedding? All your exes? I think uh, she was kind of maybe looking for acceptance by her inviting all of her exes there, just so she could be on the right path, just by saying that uh, good luck with this new journey. And I think she did say that when she was with her at the bench. Yeah, it's almost like she's looking for, I don't want to, I hesitate to say approval, but more of like, please be happy for me, sort of. I think what, what Riley, I, I, the, the girl who went to the wedding, I think what she was feeling was betrayed because you're basically with somebody who was lying. Or at least that's what it appears to be. It's like you're, you could have changed, which is what the therapist said, which is also a suggestion that she didn't change. Um, but really, like, you, you kind of, you don't just completely change and become straight and jump off the island of Lesbos and leave that behind. So, so you're lying to me or you're lying to him? Who, yeah. Which one of us is getting the real you? Yeah. Or the idea that you chose heteronormativity over something else. You played this line very well in terms of <clears throat> her bisexuality and people, <clears throat> people in different perspectives trying to accept that, including yourself. And it came out in this, in this look when she said, like, why well, I thought you were against this. Why did you do this? <clears throat> And there was this look that is really open to interpretation, you know, so where you can come from, oh, I'm just bearing it in, or this is who I always was. And, there, and there's so many different ways to, to, uh, to engage with that. Just that one even look, yeah. moment. It's a really interesting scene they have on that bench. And I think you're exactly right. I think the idea behind this piece, oh, sorry, go ahead. Okay, I really like the opening theme song, first of all. Uh, extend that to three minutes and get it on iTunes. I actually thought it was really appropriate we never saw Steve, because it wasn't about Steve. It was about Riley and Lawrence. And yeah, he, he was playful. Yeah. Um, I, thought, I thought actually Riley was a really good actress. Like the, her face during the wedding ceremony was incredible. It's risky as a filmmaker. They do a really long take of her. She, you see her face the entire ceremony, you know, in the, like in the context, right? And that's actually quite a bold move, right? Because we don't. It's not a super close up. It's just this long take of her whole emotional journey, all done visually, no dialogue at all. And a, the comment that was made earlier about you know which side is which side are we seeing? She's a multifaceted person. Maybe Lauren was only showing one side. It was still an honest, real side, but it was only one side. And the idea that you didn't see the whole person or that you didn't get the whole experience, or there's part of them that you didn't know about, is deeply problematic for someone who really probably still loves this person. There's definitely that notion of every beginning is coming from another beginning's end, and maybe she had to be at this wedding for closure to know that this one part of her life is done now. It's over now, and she can move on. She's free. I need to see why she's choosing the heteronormative comfort of marrying a man. Actually sounds insane. That's a thing to do. Kissing someone else on your wedding day. Thoughts? Just just seeing it out, just testing it out. I thought it was closure from sort of yes, one ends, one another thing begins. And and I think the film itself was very much like that in terms of life is not static and people move on, but they move on at different paces. And it was very clearly one has gotten further along than Riley had, for example. It makes me really wonder how the relationship ended. 
I took it a bit differently. I, I took it as, okay, I'm not closing the door fully. Uh, and during the wedding, she's always looking over, right? And so it's like, okay, I'm 90% in this wedding thing, but not 100%. And the best part about that is that she makes a comment on that park bench scene. She was like, tell me it's going to work out. Tell me this is all going to be okay. And her response is, maybe. You'll figure it out. Nobody really, ha no one ever has 100% of the answer. No one's ever 100% sure. That's why weddings are terrifying. 